Today's video is going to teach you how to throw short passes in Men NFL 16. Guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Cody Bauer. Today we're going to be talking about uh, a nice quick pass play that you can utilize. I really like it for short yardage situations. Those fourth downs and two, the third and three, or you really don't want to run the ball, but you know you need a, a really short pass, and you know that the defense is going to be sending hot pressure. And uh, this is one of my favorite plays uh, in the game. Uh, I really like it. It's very simple. It's very easy. Um, and, the, and the reason that I really like it so much is I think it does a really good job of guarantee some quick, short, West Coast passing style yards. Now, um, the play comes to us from the shotgun bunch. It can also be found in the single back bunch, uh, but we're actually using Kansas City's playbook today, and they do not have uh, a single back bunch. But the play comes from the, uh, the shotgun bunch, and we're going to break down a couple of different plays you're going to possibly see here. Some zone blitzes, some cover twos, and uh, some man blitzes. But the play is uh, spacing. Okay, Now this is a play that you, know, you see all every year. Uh, it's something that is really you know, ran a lot. Um, but we never really talk about how to run it, how to work it, how to utilize it uh, to really affect your offense. So we like to pick spacing. Now, first and foremost, we just want to run the play and see we have a blue route, we have a flat pattern. Uh, the blue route's got a nice little block, and then he's going to release out to the flats. Uh, and so those are some options there. Now we have, you know, kind of a, a basic of what we want to work with here. Uh, one thing also, real quick, we want to try is to hitch Adams. And what you're going to see is uh, nice hitch patterns there um, from both sides there. So some interesting things that we kind of note and, and really kind of look at here just from the beginning of the play. The next thing that we want to do here is we want to make sure that this is going to be good against man and zone defenses and also that our receivers don't run into one another as to take away where they're going to go. So first and foremost, what we see is that the tight end is unbumpable. This is going to be a, a, a key for us because we're going to try to be able to use him to um, you know spread kind of the field uh, for uh, for Jordy Nelson. Jordy Nelson is kind of the key to the whole play and we're trying to get him open. So first thing I want to do is I want to streak my tight end. I want to streak him up the seams. What this is going to do is it's going to pull any zone coverage deep with the tight end. It's going to leave it vulnerable underneath. The next thing I want to do is take my running back and place him on a wheel pattern uh, and then motion him to the right. You see I can bring him over to the right and we're going to replace that flat pattern now with a wheel pattern to the back. The next thing is optional. You don't have to do it, but I think that it's really effective. Um, I like to take Adams and place him on a quick drag. What it's going to do here in situations where they're going to face you know, man-to-man -man defense, what you'll see is this drag does a good job uh, at beating man coverage and doesn't get bumped for us. And we almost, well, it may not be as good as we thought. Um, let's try it one more time. And like We may have just got a, a fluky play here. Let's try this. And you see there's the drag being man. So that's a quick read that you have uh, just to kind of look and see. Um, you know, something quick because what's going to happen is if they blitz you from the left, you now have a quick read left um, as well. The cool part about the spacing is it's in your quick audibles. It's your L trigger audible, you see. So that's nice to have. But again, uh, you don't have to drag Adams. You really don't. Um, but I find this route he's on to not really do a great job against anything. Here we'll show it to you against man-to-man -man defense and watch what happens. You see it's a, it's kind of a, sp a spicy throw. Uh, it's kind of a testy throw and I don't really like it. It's not open enough for me. Um, one thing you can do also is put him on that hitch route. What I don't, and I don't know uh, as far as experience, you know, because I don't run this, uh, that hitch route specifically much because there's two hitch routes in the same kind of location so that kind of can change some things um, it's a little bit different when he's slanting in and so you know overall for the whole flow of the play we're probably going to end up leaving him on his route uh, the reason for that is in situations where you may face like a cover three buzz you can really check that down and what he'll do is he'll hold the linebacker and really space them out and really force the defense to really have to you know choose here. Another thing you can do simple is curl, curl, curl your tight end instead of streak him. What this is going to do is it's still going to spread those zones out, but the cool part about it is they're now spread out uh, and you just still have that check down against man to man. Let me show you a man to man defense where this is going to be important to have. 
and we'll we'll put that tight end on there. The cool part about it, it makes a curl flat read in the middle of the field. But you want to hold left trigger for that low pass, and you see we're going to deliver the ball. We just got to get a catch from our tight end. So you know, overall, we have a lot of options with this play. Um, Adams' route, more so than anything, is is a is really a suck down route. So we may check into a drag. Uh, I think the drag is probably the best for man. Uh, as well as the blitz it is three hot routes to one play so do not understand that but if you work really quickly with your hot routes you know you can really get all the hot routes in um, before the ball snapped so that's kind of what we're doing with this play specifically now let's talk about the read so your first read every single time is this little hitch route to, to Jordy Nelson that's the key route that's the route that we're gonna build our money around we'll show you it's really good against every coverage you're gonna end up facing we'll show it to you here against two man under uh, a popular defense and we're actually since this is short yard situations you know you'll often see them drop those safeties into flat zones and what you'll see here if you hold left trigger, that uh, little hitch route is going to do a nice job. There we kind of got to let our guys clear out um, in the two man. With we're overloading that's when we overload that side, they're going to have to. Um, and there you see it against man. So, but when we overload that side, we're going to have to wait a little bit to let our uh, coverages clear to let the the guy that's following the running back to let him get out. And what you'll see here is also this running back route um, is not. It's not really a, a route where we're going to look to hit it. It's mainly just a route we're going to use to pull guys away from our main target, which is going to be Jordy Nelson here. So we'll show you this. And we'll show you this against a uh, cover zero blitz now. So cover zero blitz. And you'll see we're still able to hit Jordy Nelson uh, in there. Uh, like I said, you may need to wait a second or two for the... For the um, the fastest blitz in the game, guys, and just to note, the fastest blitz in the game, you're still going to have at least one second to throw the ball. Even if they scream up the A-gap on you, you're still going to have time uh, to get rid of the ball. We'll show you this cover zero blitz. But we're going to wait to clear and then hit it. The problem with the waiting for him to clear kind of thing, and the only thing that I can really foresee being an issue, is the fact that... Um, your man coverage um, on Jordy Nelson is going to come down uh, if you take too long. And so um, let me just look at some other options here just to kind of show off. Not show off, I mean show off the play. But um, let me show you. We'll see if this flat route actually. And you see it's a little quicker. Um, it gives you a little quicker release, and so that may be something that you wanna that you deem valuable, and you can change that. You don't have to use the running back. You can maybe just streak the uh, slot receiver, and uh, you see it's a little bit more consistent against man. Uh, but from my experience, you're still gonna have pretty good success. And the other thing as well to know is that uh, against man, often you're gonna be hitting this route to your to your little receiver here on this outside, uh, and getting you know quick three four yards from him. So, but against any zone, this and this is what I love, 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 love about this play. The cover two, um, which is what you'll often face in situations where it's like short yardage. What you're going to see here is this route to Jordy Nelson is going to really sit in a hole against that cover two. You see it sitting there, um, and I really think that, um, you know, I really think that it's really effective uh, as far as. Um, if you throw it quick enough, they're, they're not you're not going to run into a lot of issues. Uh, and also, what you'll see here. There's that quick low pass against the cover two. The other thing to know is that your drag or your quick route to Javante Adams, whether you choose to hot route him to a drag or choose to leave him on his route against the cover two is going to be really good. Um, what you're going to see here is he's going to come down and sit right underneath that defense there. And so, um, you know, I really like that option as well against the cover two. So you have a lot of options with this play. Here we'll show you the cover three. Um, and really Jordy Nelson's route, what I love about it so much, though, is that you can really throw it against almost any coverage. Uh, and he's going to sit down. And I like to use a touch pass uh, and make a nice, precise pass to him. Uh, I really love this play so much, guys. And I, I, I just can't wait to share it with you. But again, uh, here we'll show you a cover uh, a cover zone or excuse me a cover three zone blitz and what you'll see here is once again Jordy Nelson's route is going to sit right down in that nice pocket for you and you're going to be able to hit him for easy yardage.
Okay, so that's the spacing play in a nutshell. Uh, we don't really do much with Randall Cobb. What you'll see here is sometimes he'll run a quick slant, and sometimes he'll run a streak, sometimes he'll run an out. Uh, let me show you a basic zone. What you'll see in a basic zone is you'll see him often run a, like I said, that quick slant. Um, for a late read if you want to kind of maybe throw it through the zones and things like that but normally he's not going to be someone that we're going to be looking to we'll show you him against man as well here against man to man what you're going to see is he's going to run that slant again um, and so Devontae Adams will normally catch that if you know if that's the case against cover zero I don't know if he runs a streak or not I think he does you see he runs that fade and so that's a good thing because then you can really kind of throw that lob pass that touch pass over the top uh, to Randall Cobb so but just some things to think about and then always mixing in your running plays here from the set and it's a, just a really good formation uh, in my opinion as far as when we talk about um, you know effectively moving the football uh, using you know quick little passing plays and very simple concepts, but what I really feel that they do for us is they do a lot more than we realize. Another thing that you could do with this is pull Nelson to the outside and make this quick hit something that is you know even more uh, isolated. And and this is something you want to maybe do only when you're facing man-to-man -man defense. I don't find much success with this. I will be honest with you, but in cer certain situations, when I know man is coming, to isolate Nelson, get him to the outside, snap, throw the hitch route. And you'll see a nice little back shoulder animation. But for the most part, you'll see me stick with the, ma the main setup from this. Um, another thing you could do is motion snap, Nelson. Um, you know, I find success with that. It's a nice little back shoulder throw. I love the low pass this year. You do it by holding left trigger and then throwing uh, the bullet pass with holding your guys down. So left trigger, hold it down, and you see we're going to get a nice quick low pass be able to turn it up field and go so that's the single back bunch that's the spacing guys it's a quick play that you could add into your arsenal today to really be effective we we'll use the kansas city chiefs playbook in this but again it's from any single back bunch or shotgun bunch formation you can use this concept thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful make sure to hit that subscribe